Let's start lying down. Use as many props as you need to be comfortable. If you want to, you can bring something underneath the knees to maybe like a bolster or a blanket um, that helps to give you a little bit more of a softening in the low back. If you need to, you can always bring a folded blanket or something underneath the head or even under the head and shoulders for a little bit of extra cushioning. And let's take a moment here to check in and see where we have landed. So noticing your breath. The quality of your breath. Where do you feel your breath entering your body? Maybe noticing the length of, their, of your inhales and of your exhales. Noticing the quality of your breath. Is it jagged or smooth? All right, so I invite you to just pay attention to the part of your breath that you feel the most. Maybe it's the sensation of your breath coming in through your nose. Maybe it's the sensation of your body expanding to create space for your breath. Perhaps it's the warm air coming back out through your nose. Or maybe it's the pauses between the inhale and exhale or between the exhale and inhale. And as your breath naturally moves through its own cycle, I invite you to just wait for that next part of your breath, for that part you notice the most. So we're just allowing the breath to flow on its own, but acknowledging that part that we notice the most every time it comes around. So our class today is on patience. Patience allows us to meet challenges peacefully, get along easily with others, accomplish long-term goals, and enjoy life. With patience, we can handle bad drivers and computer glitches without tearing our hair out. Perhaps master a musical instrument or raise a child with, a, with our sanity intact. In childhood, if we are treated with patience and raised in an environment where long-term effort is modeled and delayed gratification is valued, we tend to learn patience automatically but most of us absorb a variety of negative patterns and beliefs that undermine our patients. Some of these include fear of being punished or criticized for being too slow, 
fear of being seen as stupid if we spend too much time on something and fail. Fear of falling behind in a real or imagined competition or any judgment against ourself and others about being slow, incompetent or unintelligent. As we grow older, these patterns and beliefs contribute to a state of mind in which we constantly pressure ourselves and others to think and move faster and never allow ourselves to be comfortable with life as it is. As we go through our practice today, we're going to move through a meditation to help us uncover and release old programming and bring patience and peace into our most challenging situations and all of life. This can be something, if you wish, that you can go over again in the future and practice. So before we come into our meditation, Let's make some small movements in fingers and toes. Rolling around wrists and ankles. Maybe stretching here if that feels good for you. Gently rolling over to one side, whichever side is calling for you. And then making your way up to seated. Our first pose is going to be a supported single leg forward fold. So grabbing your bolster and your blocks and even your blanket. So your blanket can be used uh, in one of two ways. You can either sit on your blanket to help you kind of shift your weight forward a little bit as we come forward. Um, or if you have an extra blanket around, maybe you place the blanket on top of your props. So we're gonna build up this prop here, maybe placing the blocks um, underneath the bolster. And you can always change the blocks to like a medium height. Okay, so the higher it is, the easier it is for us. Again, maybe that blanket comes underneath the hips, underneath the sits bones. And we're going to start with the right leg out, tucking the left foot in. So we want our, our props away from us so that when we come forward, we're able to place our arms, maybe the head on the prop, maybe not, just depends on the body. You may also wish to shift the props around as well. So we're going to start with the right foot active, curl back the toes, bringing the hands forward, inhale to lengthen the spine, Exhale, hinging forward from the waist. So only going as far as you feel comfortable. If you need to, adjusting your props. So you might be sitting up high, totally okay. Hands could even be on your props, maybe forearms, or maybe you come lower. Head comes down to the props. Once you find a comfortable place here, you can release the activeness in your right foot. And know if you decide to come out to reactivate the right foot to slowly come out. So 
So my attempt today is to get a full body <laughs> stretch here. All right, so from here, I invite you to close your eyes if you haven't already. Take a slow, deep breath in. And as you exhale, letting go of any tension, feeling yourself sinking and settling here into the shape. Take another slow, deep breath. And exhale to release your thoughts, letting them drift far away. Take another slow, deep breath. And know that in this moment, all is well. Remember, you are not stuck in any pose. Come out if you need to. I invite you to imagine you are walking in a lovely valley meadow on a beautiful fall day. The sun is warm on your back and puffy white clouds float by lazily overhead in the soft blue sky. A little stream winds its way into the meadow from the hills nearby. And as you approach the stream, its gentle sounds begin to soothe and comfort you. You can smell the sweet scent of the stream, the grass and the wildflowers scattered here and there across the meadow. You feel peaceful and quiet at home here and find a comfortable place to sit by the stream and relax. A little way upstream is a majestic oak tree in full fall colors as its leaves of all shades of yellow, orange, red and brown. Now and then a gentle breeze rustles the leaves and sends one drifting down to the water. One by one, the leaves float softly toward you on the current until you can make out their shape and color and then watch them float on their way downstream, far out of sight. Okay, whenever you are ready, activating your right foot and then slowly making your way back to seated. All right, so we're just gonna switch the cross of the leg. So the left leg comes out long, the right foot comes in. Okay, left foot is active. Find your sits bones here, sitting up tall. Maybe you're sitting on that blanket. Hands come out in front of you or onto your props. Inhale to lengthen your spine. Exhale, hinge forward from the hips and come forward. So know that each side is different.
Once you have found a comfortable place here, soften. As you watch the leaves fall, you feel no concern about how long it takes for each leaf to reach you. No pressure over when it will finally pass out of sight. The current carries everyone at nature's pace. And you are contented to simply relax and watch. As you continue to enjoy this lovely setting, take some time to reflect on the following question. What demands do I place on myself and others that interfere with my ability to relax, enjoy the flow of life and be at peace? Continue taking deep inhales and long, slow exhales. With every exhale, perhaps you soften just a little bit more. Let's take one more round of breath. And then slowly, oh, sorry, first activating your left foot and then slowly making your way back to center. Okay. So from here, we're going to remove uh, the props and then replace them on the mat. So we're going to place a ramp uh, at the head of the mat. One block is higher than the other. And also if you have a blanket nearby, grabbing a hold of the blanket. So the blanket can be used in one of two ways. Uh, it can come between the knees as we come over into our pose. So between the legs to protect the legs, or it can come onto the earth underneath the hip 
that comes to the earth. Um, I just gave this option because personally, I prefer the hip option. A lot of people prefer the knee option. So Santosha twists, we're gonna come right hip up against the side of the ramp. And we're gonna bring the legs out towards the sides. So feet towards the uh, front of the mat. Okay, and then if you wish, placing that blanket here between the legs. Whenever you're ready, placing your hands to the sides of the ramp. Inhale, lengthening the spine, turning towards the ramp. And exhale, folding forward. Head can come in any direction. Maybe it turns to the right or to the left. making any adjustments that you need to feel comfortable. Maybe you shift around. So sometimes that left arm can feel like it's dangling or it's too much pressure hanging the way it is. If you need to, finding a prop to place underneath the forearm of the left arm to bring the earth up a little closer to you. Taking deep inhales and long, slow exhales. Watching the leaves continue to fall and drift by. Now a yellow one. Now a red. And the stream continues to offer its music to accompany this play of nature. All is calm. I invite you to consider a situation in your life where you might normally feel pressure or impatience. How could you modify your attitude or behavior to come into greater harmony with this situation? Use your imagination to observe yourself and adjust your response. Watch as you allow things to unfold at their natural pace without any attachment to the speed or result of the outcome. If it's your job to participate in the process, imagine yourself doing so as simply and directly as possible from a peaceful and natural state of mind.
Take some time to observe yourself as you soften your response and notice how the results of this change might feel in your body, mind, and emotions. Taking one more round of breath. And then making some gentle movements in fingers and toes. And using your hands to help you slowly walk yourself back up to seated. So we're just going to make our way over to the other side. So left hip comes up against the bolster. Legs come out to the side. So bringing your hands by the sides of your bolster, inhale to lengthen your spine, exhale, turn towards the bolster and slowly walking yourself over. So we wanna try and make sure we get that twist first before we come down. Again, head turns in any direction that feels right for you in your spine, in your neck. And if you need to, placing something underneath the right arm. <laughs> Sorry, trying to think of which way your turn. Uh, to bring the earth up closer underneath the arm. Take a slow, deep inhale. And as you exhale, release any tension. Feel yourself sinking down here onto your props and onto the earth. Take a closer look down into the water before you. If you concentrate on one spot for a while, you'll begin to notice a few shadows near the stream bed. You've spotted some fish, and now you can clearly see them facing upstream, holding in the current. Now and then turning off to the side to feed upon something before they resume their post. Now 
these creatures were born here in the water and live this way. Their only job is to remain steady, wait for food to float by and catch it as it comes. Consider something you do that requires you to wait, perhaps for other people to do something, for circumstances to be right, or for an inspired idea to occur. Imagine that while you are waiting, you're able to drop down into a peaceful state of rest and relaxation where you're perfectly comfortable to simply observe, reflect, and allow life to unfold in its own timing. Take some time to notice how this peaceful state of mind might affect you and feel it in your body, mind, and emotions. Finding one more round of breath. And then making some small movements in fingers and toes. And then using your hands to help you slowly come up to seated. All right, so for the next pose, you'll just need a blanket rolled up long. And whenever you're ready, the blanket comes down onto the earth and it's going to come beneath the shoulder blades. So not on the shoulder, shoulder blades, but right below them. So you're gonna come down onto your back. And you may have to scoot your way off. Okay, so options here for the arms, maybe they come out to the side in a T-shape, palms face up. If this is too much, you can always bring your arms down by your sides. Or maybe you adjust your arms, play around with it a little bit. They could reach up and back behind you for a little bit more length. So your legs, your options here, our knees together, feet wide on the mat. So this is our constructive rest in our legs.
or perhaps you bring your legs out long. Softening the shoulders. If at any point it feels like too much, you can always unroll your blanket a little bit so it's not quite as thick. And on your next exhale, releasing any tension you feel in your body in your forehead, your jaw, your shoulders, and your hips. You look across the stream to the other side and you see a family of foxes making their way across the meadow, looking for their dinner. Softly and patiently they go, perhaps finding insects, mice, or other food to enjoy. And now and then they stop to play with each other or look around at the stream or the hills in the distance, taking everything in. Consider another situation in your life, one that involves a certain level of intensity, concentrated effort, or hard work over an extended period of time. Observe yourself and notice whether you tend to let tension mount to the point where you lose patience. Visualize yourself doing something to break up the tension in that situation. Whether it means taking short breaks, switching tasks, using humor, taking slow, deep breaths, or just relaxing into the work in some way.
take your time and watch yourself making this adjustment. Notice how it affects the way you feel. Taking one more round of breath. And then making some small movements in your body. And then rolling over to one side, whichever side is calling for you. And slowly making your way to seated. All right, so last pose, I'm gonna give you an option. It could be Shavasana, any variation of Shavasana. Maybe it's another pose that you were hoping for. It could be, legs up the wall, bridge pose, anything else that comes to mind. What is your body asking for? I have the chat open if you have a question. Once you make your way onto the earth in whatever shape you need to be in, taking deep inhales and long, slow exhales. Softening your feet, your ankles, your legs and hips. Allowing your torso to sink and settle. And softening your shoulders, arms, hands, and fingers. Can you relax your neck? Soften. 
soften your jaw. And release any tension around the eyes and in the forehead. So our last part of our meditation. I invite you to listen to the following affirmations and allow them to resonate deeply within. Notice whether any of these affirmations bring up resistance or discomfort. And if that happens, simply breathe deeply and relax. I make inner peace a top priority and arrange my life accordingly. I make peace a top priority and arrange my life accordingly. I accept and appreciate myself as I am and enjoy life at my own pace. I accept and appreciate myself as I am and enjoy life at my own pace. I accept others as they are and allow them to go at their own pace. I accept others as they are and allow them to go at their own pace. When others try my patience, I relax, breathe, and become peaceful. When others try my patience, I relax, breathe, and become peaceful. When life tries my patience, I relax, appreciate, and let go. I accept the unaccepted and easily adjust to life as needed. When life tries my patience, I relax, appreciate, and let go. I expect the unexpected and easily adjust adjust to life as needed. When tempted to rush, I relax and deepen my experience of each moment. When tempted to rush, I relax and deepen my experience of each moment.
time is a gift to be enjoyed and I relax and enjoy the journey. Time is a gift to be enjoyed and I relax and enjoy the journey. It will soon be time to bring this journey to a close. But first, ask for a sphere of light, sorry, <laughs> ask for a sphere of light to be placed all around you and around this experience so that all positive benefits will stay with you and anything that you've released can be left behind. I invite you to take a moment to thank yourself for giving yourself this gift. Gently bringing your awareness back into your space. Perhaps bringing small movements into your body. If you're in legs up the wall or legs on a chair, gently hugging your knees in towards your chest and then rolling over to one side, staying there for a little bit of time. Noticing your breath. any sounds around you. And take your time here, slowly making your way up to seated. And once you get there, lowering or closing your eyes. Taking a deep breath in. And as you exhale, releasing any tension, releasing your practice, softening around your eyes and in your jaw.
I honor the space that we are in that has allowed us to come together virtually to practice. I honor all of the yogis from India and all of the teachers from around the world who have come before us, who have brought us this beautiful practice of yoga. And I honor you for being here today and for sharing your practice with me and with each other. Thank you for joining me. Have a beautiful evening. <laughs>